books. So just in a second. Okay, Helena, I believe you can begin. Thank you. Helena, we cannot hear you. Hear you. You have to unmute yourself. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Helena, and I'm the social media and communication manager for the Study in Europe. Study in Europe is uh, is a European Union project which aims to help international students to find information about higher education, research and scholarship opportunities in Europe. Today you have such an opportunity uh, to find out more about one of those countries in Europe, Slovenia. I'm happy to see that so many of you have joined us today to learn about studying in Slovenia. Uh, so I'm advising you to listen carefully and hopefully after today's presentation, you will be one step closer to studying in Europe. So let's begin. Lepo pozdravljeni in dobrodošli na predstavitvi študija v Sloveniji. Hello everybody and welcome at the Study in Slovenia online presentation. Uh, we are happy that so many of you joined us today's presentation and uh, we are sending our greetings from Slovenia to your countries. Today you are here with us, participants from Afghanistan, Albania, Argentina, Bangladesh, Belarus, Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Czech Republic, Colombia, Croatia, Egypt, France, France Germany, Ghana, India, Israel, Italy, Lithuania, Mexico, Montenegro, Nepal, Nigeria, Netherlands, North Macedonia, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Romania, also from Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Spain and Syria, Taiwan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, United Kingdom, United States, Venezuela, Vietnam and Zambia. So hello everybody again. And special welcome go to all Slovenians who live abroad. And we are all very pleased that you're thinking about studying in Slovenia. Uh, in Slovenia, we all try to maintain contact with Slovenians who live abroad around the world. And we are uh, encouraging collaboration in different fields. And we believe that studying in Slovenia is a good opportunity to you to study in Slovene language and live in Slovenian environment. Republic of Slovenia also offers special scholarships for Slovenes abroad, which will be more detailed presented during today's presentation. We also noticed that some candidates from Slovenia applied for today's presentation. You are of course welcome to follow this presentation, which will be held in English, or you can join us on information days, which will be held on 12th and 13th February, or at tomorrow presentation for Slovenians abroad, which will be held in Slovene language at 3 p.m. Uh, so as Maria mentioned, today's presentation will be recorded and published at our website. And we will also send you video and PPT presentation to your email address. Uh, now I'm just going to share presentation with you. So, just a second.
So during today's presentation, uh, we will present you, um, uh, we will be with you representatives from national agency and from Slovenian public universities. Marva Med Maria Medved is coordinator of the study in Slovenia initiative. Veronika Piccinini is coming from the University of Nova Gorica. Tanja Sanabor from University of Promorska and Stojan Primožić from University of Maribor. Uh, my name is Katja Cerar and I'm responsible for promotion of study and some support activities for international students at the University of Ljubljana. We will present information about study possibilities, benefits for students, opportunities for learning Slovene, scholarships and other activities and possibilities. This will be followed by our students' impressions who will share with you their experience about studying and living in Slovenia. Uh, with us are Hanna Budasheva and Ivan Socho from the University of Nova Gorica, Eugenia Popova from the University of Maribor and Svetlana Brezel from the University of Ljubljana. Special thanks to Ms. Helena Alekan from Study in Europe Initiative and from her, to her team uh, who provide us great support with our promotional activities. Uh, during uh, presentation, you can already write to us in the Q&A section and we will be also available for your questions after all presentation. So a little bit about Slovenia. Uh, Slovenia is a very safe country. The natural world is dominated by green, while the country features diversity and contours in all regions. It occupies an exceptional position at meeting point uh, of the Alps and Mediterranean and includes the Mysterian Carps and expensive Pannonian Plains. An education acquired in Slovenia will allow you to perform the diverse jobs of future. You will be taught the skills of managing your own career and you will be also encouraged to get involved in many extracurricular activities and attend service, additional education and training courses. Universities will also offer you help and support into integrating into studies and life in Slovenia. As a student in Slovenia, you will also have many benefits from subsidized meals and transport to scholarship opportunities and possibilities for student work. Now I'm going to present you just shortly about entering to Slovenia, about visa and health insurance. So if you are a citizen of the member states of the European Economic Area, you may enter Slovenia with a valid identity card or valid trans uh, passport. Uh, if you're coming from non-EU countries, you need to get visa or a resident permit from Slovenian diplomatic mission abroad. And please note that universities do not provide support for the visa application process and also we cannot influence on this procedure. And due to the current situation, please check our website where you can find updated information about border crossing. And you can also find information at our Ministry of Interior website. Uh, regarding health insurance, you also have to take care of this before you come to, uh, to study in Slovenia. So if you are insured in the EU member states, uh, countries from European economic areas, Switzerland or Australia, you have the right to obtain emergency or necessary health services. Slovenia also has concluded bilateral agreement with Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Serbia and Montenegro. And if you are insured in these countries, you also have the right to the emergency health care services. If you're coming from countries which are not in the EU or European economic area or with countries without uh, bilateral agreements uh, with Slovenia, you have to conclude the compulsory health insurance in Slovenia and you can register for insurance at the unit of health insurance Slovenia. And based on your inclusion in the insurance system in Slovenia, you will have free access to healthcare services within the scope of compulsory health insurance. 
considering that you are required to cover the difference between the full price of healthcare services, we recommend you that you also take care of supplementary health insurance at a commercial insurance company. Now a little bit about the fees. You do not have to pay tuition fee for bachelor and master studies if you're coming from EU countries, uh, Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein or Norway. Uh, if you're coming from the countries with which Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreement, these are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Northern Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Serbia. Also, if you are scholarship holder of the Republic of Slovenia, uh, if you have permanent residence in the Republic of Slovenia or your parents or guardians are taxpayers in Slovenia. Uh, also, if you're coming for exchange, uh, and this is also valid for PhD students. So, uh, fee is paid by all students with uh, already acquired equivalent degree of education all doctoral st students and all part-time students. Here I would like to mention that at the doctoral level, we have co-financing scheme and you can find more information about this scheme at our website. Fee mostly ranks between 2,500 and 5,000 euros per academic year. This depends on the study program. Highest fee is, for example, at our university at the Faculty of Medicine and Academ uh, Academy of Music, which was uh, this year 15,000 per academic year. Uh, also, you have to take care, this is for all students, you have to take care administrative costs uh, because this is not included in the fee and has to be taken before the start of the studies. Uh, just a, a short information about living costs in Slovenia. Uh, usually uh, monthly living costs are between 500 and 600 euros. And this depends on your uh, lifestyle, of course. Uh, a little bit about uh, scholarship. Uh, the public uh, scholarship development disability and maintenance fund of the Republic of Slovenia carries out various scholarship programs. Uh, they, at the moment, have open calls for scholarship for doctoral study Christology, uh, scholarship for citizens of Jordan and Palestina. And there is also an uh, announced call for Slovenians abroad for bachelor and master studies. Uh, this call is expected to be published in August, and the amount of the scholarship is expected to be 204.80 euros per month. And uh, recipients of this scholarship, we also have the possibility to get accommodation in the student dormitory, but this depends on the situation uh, with coronavirus. And for more information, please visit a uh, website of the public fund. Also, the Ministry of Education, Science and Sport in cooperation with the National Education Institute and with the Center for Mobility and European Educational and Training Programs and the Office for Slovenes Abroad provides scholarship covering tuition fee for members of Slovene ethnic minorities in other countries uh, and uh, immigrants of Slovenes. And at the moment, they already have apl opened application for summer, autumn, winter and spring school of Slovene language. Uh, you can find here is also included uh, links uh, to the calls and contact of Ms. Jana Kete Maticic, uh, who is taking, who is responsible for uh, this uh, uh, summer, uh, autumn, winter and spring school. Uh, now, uh, Slovenia has a national online system for enrollment and recognition of foreign education. Uh, this year, we have another thing that all notification, including the conclusion of the results of the selection procedure, will, will be submitted to the candidates in the Evershire application. And now, Ms. Tanya Sanabo, who is coming from the University of Primorska Admission Office, uh, will present and explain you in detail uh, the application and recognition procedure. Hello, everybody. I'm Tanya Sanabor, 
Uh, I'm working at the University of Primorska in the admission office. And uh, I will be presenting you now the uh, application procedure for entering the first year of studies at the Slovenian universities. Okay, let's start. Do you see my sharing screen? Yes, good. Okay, thank you. The enrollment conditions are uh, presented in details uh, in the uh, Article 38 of the Higher Education Act of Slovenian Republic. And it's written that anyone who has passed the matura, this is upper secondary school graduation examination, may enter a first cycle higher education program. Individuals who have passed a vocational matura examination after having completed, completed an upper secondary technical education program in a specific discipline and an examination in one of the matura subject may also be admitted to a university study program in the same discipline. The appropriate upper secondary technical education program and matura subject referred to uh, in the preceding paragraph shall be stipulated by the study program. Individuals having passed a vocational matura examination, uh, examination or a final examination following the appropriate upper secondary technical education defined by the study program may also be admitted to a higher professional study program. Study programs may also define special talents or mental and physical skills at, as admission requirements. An art academy may stipulate in its study program that those who do not meet the requirements referred to in paragraphs one, two and four of this article but who possess outstanding artistic talent may nevertheless be admitted uh, in this study program. The course for enrollment are published on this uh, famous Evesha web portal uh, for the first cycle and sec second cycle integrated master's degree study programs in early February. For master's degree study programs uh, are expected to be uh, published in February or March, but at the latest in early June. And doctoral study programs uh, call for enrollments no later than the, uh, in the beginning of March. Application terms for foreign candidates stated in the call for enrollment vary according to the higher education institution. Check them please on the websites of the institution you want to enroll in. Also, please check the deadlines in the call for enrollments, such as uh, dates for tests of specific aptitudes, abilities and skills, if the study program requires them and the deadlines for submission of documents required by the call for enrollment. Now the application for enrollment. Uh, the application for enrollment is electronic and uh, it, is, it has to be submitted uh, in the Evesha web portal. This is the link for the application web portal. The candidate must register firstly in the, this Evesha portal and create his profile in accordance, in accordance with the application deadlines specified in the call for enrollment. The application is submitted when it is electronically signed by the deadline specified in the call for enrollment. Different forms of submitting the application are possible. Uh, that means if you have a qualified digital, digital certificate or you can simply register with a username and password and so on. The last of the application deadline is the date by which the candidate must submit the application electronically in this Evesha portal. The candidate will also upload all the required documents in this Evesha portal. Before completing the application for enrollment, the candidate must verify in the call for enrollment whether he meets the conditions for enrollment in the desired study program and the criteria for the selection procedure. 
In order to start the application procedure correctly, the candidates must know the name of the call for enrollment. Now, the call for enrollment for the first cycle is called the call for enrollment in the first cycle and second cycle integrated master's degree study programs in the year 2021-22 academic year for the University of Ljubljana, Maribor, Primorska, Novogorica, and so on. The name is very long, but this is uh, the name for the joint uh, call for enrollment for all the public universities in Slovenia. The selection procedure and the enrollment. Now, the results of the selection procedure will be published also in this Evesha portal. Uh, for the first application deadline, the results will be published no later than uh, the 3rd of July, uh, 2021. Within the second application deadline, the results of the selection procedure will be published in your uh, Evesha portal no later than 22 of September, uh, 2021. And for the, uh, for the term uh, for still available enrollment places, this let's, let's call them the third application deadline, but it's not the third. Uh, the um, the uh, results will be published no later than uh, 28th of September. Candidates will access the decision of the selection procedure in this Evesha portal with his user account it is considered that the decision is served to the candidate on the second working day after the day of submission in the Evesha portal. The selection procedure. The enrollment of accepted candidates take place at higher education institution, which invite the accepted candidates to enroll. The enrollment is made on the basis of the completed enrollment form. This is the next step. When you once are accepted as a candidate, then you must enroll uh, based on the invitation of your faculty to which you, was admi you were admitted. Now, uh, you will be invited to uh, enroll for uh, this, after the selection procedure of the first application period from 2nd till 7th of a, uh, uh, 17th, sorry, August in 2021. In the second application period, uh, you can enroll between the 24th and 30th of September. And in the last period from 28th to 30th, September 2021. Now, the procedure for recognition of education for the purpose of continuing education in the Republic of Slovenia for candidates holding a foreign education certificate. Candidates who have completed secondary education abroad must submit the application for the procedure of recognition of foreign education together with the application for the enrollment in the same Evesha portal. Upon completion of the procedure for recognition of education, candidates receive a decision on the recognition of education in the, in the same manner in the Evesha portal. Now, uh, which are the, the required documents for the procedure of recognition of foreign education? First of all, due to COVID situation, no, uh, no university requires nothing sent by regular post. Every document must be scanned and uploaded in your Evesha portal. Firstly, you have to scan or maybe send us the scan or the photograph of the final upper secondary school certificate. Uh, the information which is very new and it's not refreshed in this uh, um, slide is that the uh, document doesn't have to be legalized anymore because we as the higher institution bodies have to verify its um, authenticity uh, at the body who issues your secondary certificate. Then the second thing you have to uh, upload is the scan or the photo of the verified translation of the above mentioned document into Slovene or English language. Then a scan of uh, 
or photo of an annual report cards, transcript of records, a diploma supplement on, or some other evidence on the contents, contents and duration of education. Uh, let's say last four years of education and verify translation of these certificates uh, into Slovene or English language. Then a scan of a handwritten short chronological description of the entire education. Then a scan of evidence of Slovene language examination at the appropriate level or equivalent evidence, but this only if required for enrollment to individual study program. And for the last thing, the scan or a photo of uh, an identity document. And these differ uh, between citizens. If you are citizens member of EU, uh, you can scan your identity card or passport. And if you are foreign uh, from non-EU countries, uh, please scan your passport. And we uh, need the, the, the page with your personal data. And this is a short, um, short view uh, for uh, legalization requirements uh, regarding the country or uh, of origin of the document. Uh, let's say if you are from uh, Bulgaria, uh, your certificate doesn't need to be legalized because of the uh, uh, because of the since it's a platla magic because of the uh, agreements between our two uh, countries, sorry for that. So this would be all from my side. If you have any other question regarding uh, anything about uh, enrollment, please write me. I'm here uh, till the end of this presentation. And now I'm done and I uh, give my word back to Katja. So now I'm going to tell you about the University of Ljubljana. Uh, what can you study at our university and uh, what can you expect as our student? Uh, so uh, as you can already recognize from the name, our university is located in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. And uh, Ljubljana is a very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. Uh, the city is surrounded by parks and protected areas of nature, which also allows you to hike in the nature. So uh, 40,000 students uh, give the city youthful appeal. Uh, in the city center, you can also find a lot of pubs, restaurants, clubs and shops. And Congress Niturk uh, is one of the central squares in Ljubljana, where is also the seat of our university, which you can also see it uh, on the uh, my background picture. So our university has 23 faculties and three art academies, uh, which covers all fields of studies. So you can study at our university art, fine arts, natural sciences, technology and engineering, social sciences, humani uh, humanities, uh, medicine, health sciences and sports. So most of our faculties and academies are located in Ljubljana, except faculty of maritime studies and transport, which is located in Portoroz by the sea. Uh, our central building uh, academies uh, and some faculties are located in the city center and some of the most recent uh, buildings are constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana. So this year, more than 40,000 students study at Avon University and among them, we have almost 9% of degree seeking students, international students, from 104 countries. Our university ranks among top 3% of the universities in the world and uh, an education required at our university will allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience and skills you need to succeed in your career whenever in the world you choose to work and live. And you will be also encouraged to get involved in numerous extracurricular activities, attend series of traditional education and training courses, and become a part of the vibrant international academic community. 
so with the help of uh, tutors and various support activities, we will provide you support into integrating into your studies and life in Slovenia. Uh, you will be also have the opportunity to establish contacts with potential employers, attend a series of additional education and training courses, and get involved in various extracurricular activities. Uh, so, as our student, you will also have many possibilities for practical work and internship, and also a good access to library resources and services. Uh, you will also be able to attend concerts, exhibition and performances organized by our academies and faculties. And if you do not decide to start your, at our university, you are of course more than welcome to come to the University of Ljubljana as an exchange student or uh, attend one of our summer school courses. Uh, so our professors, researchers and teachers are involved in various research group projects and activities and uh, also as our student you will have the possibility to uh, participate in such uh, projects. Here are just a few uh, successful projects. Um, our scientists are studying regenerative abilities of human fish, which will uh, could help us in medicine uh, treatment. Also, they prove the connection between Zika virus and fetus brain damage. They are successful in the field of robotics, uh, cancer treatment with evaporation and other fields. And uh, if you're interested, you can check our website uh, for more information about our project. Uh, also in cooperation with foreign universities, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies. And uh, we uh, emphasize international exchange of students and staff. We are actively involved in international partnerships and we are leading association called Eutopia, which also includes five other European universities. Uh, so you will also have the opportunity to, uh, to go on exchange in Venice International University. This is consortium in Venice, uh, where, where the, uh, which has more than 20 uh, universities all over the world. And you can meet professors and students uh, from members of these universities in one place in uh, San Servolo Island in Venice. Uh, about our degree programs, uh, our degree programs uh, range across all fields of study. They are internationally renowned, they are comparable, they are professionally attractive, and this provides you good and uh, also us very international mobility of students and staff. Uh, you can see that last year we have accredited more than 400 programs and all relevant information about offer degree programs, enrollment requirement, language requirement, duration, and number of available places is published in Call for Enrollment. Uh, today, it was uh, published Call for Enrollment into Bachelor and Master, uh, Single Cycle Master degree programs. We are also expecting to publish Call for Enrollment for Master and Doctoral Studies by the end of the February. So please follow our website for more information. According to Slovenian legislation, I already saw that some of you were asking about uh, Slovene language, learning Slovene language and lectures in Slovene. So uh, according to Slovene legislation, we have to organize all programs in Slovene language. Also at our university uh, for enrollment into some bachelor and master degree programs is required knowledge of Slovene at B2 level. Uh, now, since the call for enrollment for bachelor studies is already out, I can tell you that for the next academic year, this will be required for uh, programs of the Academy of Theater, Radio, Film and Television, uh, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Law and Faculty of Health Sciences for all programs which are organized at these faculties and also for the program Journalism at the Faculty of Social Sciences, uh, programs of comparative literature and literary the theor um, sorry, theory, Slovene studies and psychology at the Faculty of Arts, 
uh, mathematics education at the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics and administration at the Faculty of Public Administration. We also offer some programs parallelly in English and other languages. Uh, I also saw there was a question if you can first year study in foreign language and then in Slovene. This is not possible at the University of Ljubljana. So when you apply and you get enrolled in the program, you study in the, in the language which is uh, in which the program is organized. Uh, you, you will have the possibility to join the activity year plus. Uh, this was uh, specially prepared for international students for easier integration into the Slovene environment and more successful study. Uh, and uh, here you can gain, uh, this will help you gain language and other skills, expertise in your chosen field of study, as well as the opportunity to familiarize yourself with the culture and history of Slovenia in general, but only in the first year of bachelor and master studies at the University of Ljubljana. And here you will also have the possibility to extension of student status, but you will have to fulfill certain conditions. Uh, you also have the opportunity to learn Slovene online. This is valid for all, uh, all candidates, not, also, uh, not only for those who will decide to study at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, we have prepared freely accessible online course in Slovene for foreigners, which is prepared in eight different languages. You can also attend online or classroom courses organized by our Center of Slovene as a second and foreign language. I also received a question about uh, Slovene exams. Uh, they are unfortunately not provided online. Uh, so it is best that you contact our Center for Slovene here on this website. You can find all the contacts uh, and information. Uh, now I'm going to present you a little bit about application deadlines. Uh, so next week we will start with application uh, for bachelor studies for candidates from EU and non-EU countries. This is information for bachelor studies. As you can see, we have different deadlines from those who are coming from EU countries and those who are coming from non-EU countries. But for all candidates for bachelor and master, uh, uh, single cycle master programs, application will start uh, next Tuesday on 16 February. You will also find application on our website. So uh, I think Tanya already mentioned when she presented application uh, procedure, uh, you should apply as soon as possible. And then when you will get documents for uh, recognition of uh, education, you will send it afterwards to us. So as soon as the application uh, opens, please apply. Uh, then you can see we have different uh, application deadlines for master and doctoral degree programs. So it is best that you check, call for enrollment for the degree programs you are uh, interested in. So uh, to help you with application procedure, uh, we organize online counseling on the application admission procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. This is uh, organized every Wednesday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Uh, you have to register uh, at the portal uh, of um, personal and professional development uh, portal, which is called POPAR, uh, where you can also uh, apply for different events and search available vac uh, vacancies. And we are also available for your support at our info point uh, from Monday to Friday, and you can contact us by email or phone. And we know we are aware that many agents and agencies offer help with the application procedure. So please note, we would really like, I would really like to point this out, uh, that you do not need uh, help and services from the uh, agencies and agents, and this also does not uh, guarantee you a successful application. So as Tanya already explained, application is not com uh, complicated, you just follow instruction, or you can contact us uh, for help. And uh, I would also like to uh, let you know 
uh, that we have been spotting some misuse of the name of the University of Ljubljana and data regarding application and admission, admission procedures from some recruitment agents and agencies and candidates had to pay for these services. So please just be careful. Uh, and uh, again, you do not need the service of recruitment agents and uh, agencies. Uh, now, I would also like to invite you to join us uh, at our online presentation. Uh, we will organize especially Information Day for Slovenians abroad at the University of Ljubljana, this I'm talking about, and foreigners. This will be held uh, on Friday at noon. Uh, you can find a Zoom link uh, on this website and you can just uh, join us uh, to this presentation. Here will be also uh, with us representative of the scholarship fund, administrative unit, uh, uh, dormitory, so they will provide you more detailed information. And again, it will be explained uh, application admission procedure and this information they will be held in Slovene language. Also next week on 16 and 17 February, uh, we will have a special presentation in English. Uh, there will be general presentation uh, of the University of Ljubljana. This will be more or less the same as today's presentation and also presentations of our faculties and academies. Uh, now, just a short information about accommodation. Uh, so in Ljubljana, it is not possible to reside in student dormitory unless you are ministry recipients. Uh, we have prepared website where you can find more information uh, to, uh, to find the room or apartment. So here is also a link uh, with more information. So uh, just for the end, uh, our university is open institution. We look forward to having as many international students as possible. And uh, here you can find on this website, uh, our graduates and students impressions. Uh, they explain what it's like to learn with us and why they choose University of Ljubljana. And some of them also provided their contacts and you can contact them for more information. So if you will have any questions, uh, please uh, check uh, first our website or contact us on this email uh, listed uh, on this slide. So uh, now I would like to invite Stojan Primožić. He's coming from the University of Maribor and he will present you possibilities uh, of studying uh, at the University of Maribor, which is the second largest and oldest university in Slovenia. Hello, everybody from Maribor. Uh, let me just uh, share the screen. I hope you can all see it. Yes. Yeah, um, but wait. Oh, that's um, another thing. The guy is watching us. Okay, here we are, finally. Okay, welcome to the University of Maribor, which is the second largest university in the country. Uh, we are uh, in the northeast of the country, by the almost by the Austrian border. Uh, Maribor is, uh, is also the second largest city in Slovenia. And uh, while you will be a student here, you will have also many opportunities to explore, explore the city and the, the surroundings. Uh, Maribor offers a lot of uh, opportunities and uh, we have some uh, um, very nice uh, attractions. Uh, you can uh, see the oldest wine in the world, which is over 400 years old and is um, listed in the Guinness Book of Records. Uh, 
the summer festival Lent is uh, a popular festival where uh, performers and uh, um, audiences from all over the world flock to and uh, enjoy the uh, the performances, theater performances, uh, musical performances, and so on. Uh, Maribor is also very known for its football team and is a big football. Uh, uh, a lot of people are big football fans. Uh, Leon Stuckel was also a part of Maribor and he lived here uh, most of his life, which is the oldest Olympian um, uh, and uh, gold medalist. So this is just a few words about Maribor because you will be spending some time here. And a few facts about our university. Um, as I said, it's the second largest. Uh, we have about uh, 13, uh, about uh, almost uh, 14,000 students and 10% of those students are foreigners. Um, we have all degree uh, study programs. So from bachelor, master to uh, PhD. Uh, we offer 174 study programs uh, and our 17 faculties are from all, uh, all fields of study, uh, from uh, humanistic, social studies, uh, medicine, technical studies, natural sciences, and so on. Um, our uh, faculties are, uh, most of them are in Maribor, uh, but a few of them are also scattered around Slovenia, as you can see in this slide, because we uh, want to offer also our uh, uh, quality study programs to people who are also living in other parts of Slovenia, although Slovenia is not so big, but it's also more, uh, um, it's easier if people live closer to their uh, faculty. Uh, here is a list of our study programs. Uh, as I mentioned before, we offer a lot of uh, different fields. Um, this year, uh, a new study program is uh, dental medicine, which will be uh, a new contribution to our list of uh, study programs. Uh, our success stories, we are proud. Uh, because the rankings put us uh, uh, in the top 3% of uh, universities in the world. Uh, we got um, the Olympic Committee certificate that we are uh, friendly for students who are uh, actively uh, involved in, uh, in uh, competitions and the Olympic teams. We got the Student Satisfaction Award, which is uh, very good, or I think the highest uh, the highest award if the students are satisfied with your, uh, with your work. Um, um, the World University Rankings of Times Higher Education uh, put us in, 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 in a high place. So uh, um, also we have many projects uh, in our faculties where also students are involved because you know students need to do some practical work because they cannot just read books. So, we have, um, as you can see uh, in this slide, uh, the student formula team is very successful, and they uh, they have uh, that for, they develop the formula to, uh, car and uh, are uh, actively uh, participating in um, in competitions uh, around Europe. Uh, here, uh, the hipster uh, project is a contribution to the. Uh, to the, develop, uh, to the development of electrical air transport. Uh, last year, it was a big story that uh, we developed the first nano satellite that flew into space. So we are we put uh, we put Slovenia on the map uh, in the, of uh, exploring the the, um, the space uh, and numerous uh, numerous other projects of our uh, professors. Uh, and also students. Um, extracurricular activities are also uh, a part of our uh, of our process where you can we, where you can uh, uh, um, get extra credits for uh, uh, extracurricular activities that you choose, um, and they are offered in many fields from uh, sports to to uh, culture uh, and so on. So why study at the University of Maribor? I, men I mentioned some things before. Uh, before um, 
as the uh, the student competition teams, uh, the extracurricular activities, uh, diverse and interesting study programs. Uh, you will have the opportunity to study abroad uh, with many possibilities of uh, students, uh, student exchange programs and uh, internship programs. Uh, the career center of the university is developed and they organize uh, uh, some, um, some lectures so that the transfer from the study environment to the work environment is uh, easier. The tutoring system helps a lot students who uh, struggle maybe at the beginning uh, in the freshman years and uh, you, you, can, you can have assigned a student or a professor tutor and they can help you then uh, uh, during, the, during the studies. As I mentioned before, the graduate satisfaction we are very proud of. Uh, um, our study programs are linked with the economy, so there's always a connection and we have uh, uh, practice work in, uh, in different companies. E-study materials are even more popular now during the Corona times. Um, and uh, also, as a foreign student, you will be able to get uh, a place in our student dormitories, which are very modern and they were re renovated recently. So uh, uh, you can apply also for those. Uh, as for application dates, I don't want to go into detail because you will have the presentation sent to you. So you have all the dates here. Uh, just note that the application for the undergraduate study uh, will start any moment and uh, and other dates you just can read from the from the uh, from the list here uh, we are present uh, of course on the web page we, you can all, uh, visit the, with the web page my uh, my.um.si uh, contact us by email if you have additional questions or look us up on uh, Facebook or Instagram and you can uh, get additional information about uh, the study programs uh, in those uh, links. So this will be all from my part, um, short and quick. So now I will send you to University of Primorska where uh, my colleague will present you the study opportunities. All right, hello, uh, just a second. Uh, I'm sure you can see what I'm sharing with you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Mitya. I'm uh, from the University of Primorska, which is located on the Slovenian uh, coast. Uh, although we are very proud of uh, being uh, living and studying at the sea, we need to admit that Slovenian coast is very, uh, very tight, very small. It is located between the um, border with Croatia and Italy and our faculties are actually located in all the three uh, coastal um, cities, towns which are Koper, Isola and uh, Porto Roche. Uh, our faculties, well the uh, University of Primorska is uh, the youngest public Slovenian uh, university and covers not all uh, the areas that are already covered by other Slovenian um, universities. Uh, we are at said the youngest university and our goal is to become a modern international European university and we do that uh, with the stro strong research uh, activity supported by information technologies. Here's a list of our faculties. We have six faculties and one research institute. And uh, basically we cover areas of humanities, management and economy, natural sciences, um, information technologies, uh, education, health sciences and uh, tourism sciences. Um, one, uh, well, the, the, the uh, rectorate, so the main building of the faculty and the main offices of the university are located in Koper, which is a, a really nice and lovely city. Here, 
you can see uh, this is our uh, the main building of the university and um, Koper is actually also a student town, so which means that uh, student life has an, a big impact on the uh, on the life of uh, everyone who lives in Koper. Uh, a bit about numbers, as you can see, University of Primorska is not that big. We have this year a bit more than uh, six uh, thousand students. Uh, the most interesting data you can see here is that we have a large community of international students. Uh, Fifteen uh, percent of all students come from abroad, but uh, the percent is much higher on programs of STEM, which means programs uh, that cover science, technology, engineering and uh, mathematics. As already said, uh -huh, here you have also some numbers about how many uh, study programs we are offering. And if we are talking about undergraduate study programs we are offering, we are going to offer you next uh, uh, study year, next academic year, 30 undergraduate study programs. As said, we are one of the pillars of our vision is the international orientation of our study programs and of uh, all other activities. We host uh, many international conferences, workshops, scientific meetings, of course, for our researchers and professors, but also for our students. And uh, all our students have, of course, also the possibility to study abroad, uh, which means to spend one semester or even more time abroad um, uh, studying in another faculty, or they can choose also uh, to attend um, uh, training uh, abroad. As others have already said, uh, there are no tuition fees for students from EU countries, uh, plus um, for uh, students that are coming from countries uh, that have bilateral agreements with Slovenia, basically uh, the Balkans. Uh, one important information for you is that uh, the University of Primorska has its own scholarship fund that offers scholarships to talented students. And since the number of international students is increasing every year, at the beginning of the academic year, we uh, welcome students with a very special and nice um, program. Um, we call uh, it uh, orientation days and our students and other staff uh, we, together with our uh, student tutors help freshmen um, dealing with paperwork, uh, finding accommodation, understanding how does the system work, uh, where are the faculties uh, and so on. Uh, we are usually organizing our orientation days just before the beginning of the academic year. Um, which means end, the end of September. Uh, additionally, we also offer accommodation for international students during the first year of study so that they don't need to spend energy and time in that. Of course, no, all it, it's not, um, we are not saying that we are offering a bed uh, to all international students that are coming uh, to study to the University of Primorska, but uh, the majority of them can find during the first year um, an accommodation, which is basically very handy because at the beginning of the, this new life adventure, when you move to another country, you don't know anyone, you uh, are trying to understand how the new system works, you don't need to deal uh, with uh, finding an accommodation. Students at the University of Primorska, of course, all, not only the international ones, are mostly very happy with their choice and they are very satisfied with the study programs. Uh, the, ones, uh, the ones who enroll in uh, programs that are offered in Slovenian language uh, can choose uh, the so-called year plus. Uh, during the uh, first year of study, they, are, they can focus more on the study of 
uh, the Slovenian language. And after one year, they can enroll once again in the first year and they can catch up with the exams they need to, uh, to pass in order to go into the second year. Uh, this is an option that only uh, international students uh, that are uh, enrolled in Slovenian um, uh, programs, so programs that are run in Slovenian language can choose. Uh, foreigners that are uh, that are usually enrolling in the in courses that are held in English language cannot choose the year plus, also because the year plus is meant um, um, as help for students to um, to learn first the Slovenian language. Uh, and another thing, which is also very important for you, is that the university offers uh, free Slovenian language courses to all international students, no matter if they are enrolled in the Slovenian programs or in the English ones. And of course, our students are very active in uh, different uh, fields. Uh, we are very strong since uh, some months in uh, and very proud of uh, a, a really nice uh, project, which is called Sport UP. Um, we have uh, on the Faculty of Health Sciences, we have our sport team that is uh, very caring and offering uh, to all students, professors and all employees different um, sport activities and they are all uh, free for everyone. Here we have a list of all our um, programs that are offered in English language. Uh, we have a bunch of them on the undergraduate study uh, level, uh, uh, also on master level, do on doctoral level, mostly all our programs can be uh, done also in English language. On undergraduate level, we have bioinformatics, computer science, mathematics, management and tourism enterprise management. Um, and on master level, basically the continuation of the programs that uh, a student starts on undergraduate level. And here we have some deadlines. Um, as said, um, universities have different deadlines. Some dates are more or less similar, especially for uh, the Slovenians or the EU citizens. But let me just repeat once again, the first deadline that is uh, uh, important to you is the first application term. Uh, it will start very soon on the 16th of February and the deadline is the 19th of March. Uh, another two uh, dead, um, application terms will follow. And for uh, the ones who do not have a Slovenian or EU citizenship and they are not Slovenians, uh, no, uh, just this, for, uh, for, uh, from, for students, for applicants who come from uh, countries that are not in EU, the deadlines are four at our university. Um, the first application term starts uh, as well very soon and the deadline is in May. 21st of May. But as said, as Tanya said, the application uh, uh, process is not complicated. You just need to sit down, read what is already published on the uh, website uh, of all uh, public universities and be very careful uh, not to miss uh, the deadlines. And of course, we are also inviting you to our uh, virtual information days that are uh, going to happen this uh, coming weekend on Friday and on Saturday. Saturday, again, everything you need to know is already written and published on uh, uh, all uh, faculties and on the university site. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can find us there. Uh, those are also the channels we used to um, uh, communicate with candidates. So if you have some questions, simply write us. We are happy to answer and good luck with your uh, decision. And this is the right time to get as much information as you can. So if you have questions, just ask. And I'll pass now the word to Veronica from the University of Nova Gorica.
Hello, I'm Veronica from Nova Gorica, and it's a pleasure for me to present study opportunities also at our university. So we are the smallest university out of these four participating today. Um, well, here you have a picture of one of our schools, and I would like to give you more information about us and our study programs, and of course about the advantages of studying with us. So, we are located in a lovely sub-Mediterranean region on the border with the neighboring country, Italy, an hour and a half away from Venice and an hour away from our capital, Ljubljana, between the sea and the mountains. Uh, it's a really nice place to study and also to live because everything is really, really close. Um, we have lots of natural beauties, uh, so this part of Slovenia is popular with tourists too. You can see a lovely spot on the right, uh, the famous Socha River Valley. Plus that uh, we are very well known for uh, another attraction, the common square of two countries. This is um, a unique European, let's say, landmark, um, the only square in Europe shared by two countries also a famous instagram spot as you can see in the middle well um we are used to you know living on this border so to say um so we are in fact we we form a common conurbation with the neighboring uh, country italy and the, the town of gorizia which has a similar name like nova gorizia and we are very proud that um, Nova Gorica and Gorizia together will become the European capital of culture in uh, 2025. So um, for the first time, the Euro European capital of culture will actually take place in two countries, in two towns. Uh, we are a small um, university town um, with a very um, youthful, I would say, character. Some people say we're a little bit crazy here. Well, my students will tell you more about that. So lots of young people love to come here, not only because of the nature, the rich culture, maybe this bilingual diversity of our region and uh, the juncture of different um, cultures and nations, but also because um, it's a very popular spot for adrenaline sports, various festivals, perhaps you know the famous Metal Days festival taking place in the Socha Valley every year. It's known practically on a global scale. So if I move on, we have our schools in three locations. Uh, our headquarters are of course in Nova Gorica on the very border with Italy. Then in Vipava, number two, we have three schools, plus in Aidoschina as well. We also have one school and lots of research units. All of them are located along the highway leading from Venice to Ljubljana, so we are uh, easily reachable from all the directions. So what can you study with us? Well, we are small, as I told you, but we cover most of the fields. It's very popular among um, the students from abroad to study engineering and management, either on an undergraduate or a master's level. Then lots of students also choose environmental sciences. I think this is uh, an ever popular field of study. Then the School of Science. This is, let's say, a little bit more special. I can say we are the only ones in a wider geographical area of Europe offering also the, um, the field of astrophysics already at the undergraduate level, plus material science on master's level, another very promising program in terms of employment. We are very proud also to nurture the tradition of viticulture and technology, that's uh, grape growing and uh, wine producing, because our country and also our region is very, very famous for that. You can see also a picture of our two students um, working or performing their practical placement in our uh, university's uh, vineyards here. So you can also study viticulture and uh, enology. Plus the School of 
Arts is also very popular among foreign students. You can study digital arts and practices on the bachelor's level and later on on the master's level, you can choose media arts and practices with different modules, so as you can see, animation, video film, photography, new media, and so on. The School of Humanities offers the program Cultural History, Bachelors, Slovene Studies, a plus that on the master's level with Slovene Studies, you can also opt for the double diploma program with the Kafoskar University from Venice, which is a very famous, excellent university in the neighboring country. So this kind of double degree diplomas also might offer uh, more employment opportunities and open you extra doors abroad as well. Well, for those who have already finished um, schooling on the master's level, of course, we also offer doctoral study programs. So here's our choice. I will not read all of the programs. You can check our website. Perhaps I'll point out just the most interesting, well, it's the most interesting program for me, for example. You can see a picture of um, an expert in speleology, so it's um, karstology to, to be uh, exact. So it's a branch of geology dealing with, you know, um, underground, uh, under, underground terrain. Uh, you know that Slovenia is very famous for underground caves and we believe that our Postojna cave is simply the most wonderful cave in the world. So we have to have specialists in that field as well. Well, and what are actually the advantages of studying with us? Um, again, I will leave the word to my students later on to explain that. Uh, but overall, I would say our greatest, um, let's say, advantage is our small size. We've got about 400 or 450 students, so it means we have an individual approach towards them. They study in small groups. You rarely see more than 20 people sitting in a lecture room. And we teachers um, know our students by names. So we have a very, very personal approach and it means our doors are always open and simply we can dedicate more time to them, we can support them and we know their strengths and we can then include them in more things, so to say, like projects and so on. So we come to the next point, not only that our study programs are very interdisciplinary, meaning that um, we are trying to give them a very broad knowledge so that we would open more doors for them in terms of employment later on but we are trying to include them also in various activities like projects and research uh, and other activities at the university at the university so that they can get get various various types of let's say skills and competences uh, so that they are more competitive on the labor market later on of course, if you're uh, foreign uh, students, you can also take part in mobilities. That's welcome and we encourage everybody to give it a try and go on an Erasmus or, an, or other types of an international exchange. That's a great opportunity. And uh, yes, we, we have to say that we are very proud of our high employment rates of graduates. We believe that is the result uh, also of all our practical placements and practical, let's say, connections um, that the students establish during their studies with a potential employer. So it means the employers get to know them and it's easier to find a job later on. And lots of graduates get the job at the very same company or organization where they had been performing practical placements or doing some projects together and so on. Well, we are also um, the so-called European talent point. So it means that we offer a lot of extracurricular activities to those students who are, let's say, over motivated, very motivated to get the most of their studies. Um, and indeed at a small university, we can um, 
simply devote a lot of time to them. And uh, as you can see also in the picture, the students can use all the laboratory equipment and we have very well, research, very well equipped research units. So any, any kind of idea that the student is interested in or activity, they are welcome to, to just knock on the doors on their teachers or researchers and ask if they can be included. We are also known to be an athletes friendly university. There are lots of athletes studying with us, also foreign athletes, not only because our region is, let's say, very pleasant also for outdoor sports because we rarely have snow. So, for example, cyclists are um, a very common sight among our students because they can cycle or your round and train. So we have flexible modes of study for um, athletes. And here, in terms of flexibility, I would like to point out also uh, distant learning opportunities. Well, uh, you know, the pandemic hasn't really been such of a trouble for us. Well, we did have to adapt, but even before that, we had a very well established um, distance teaching, you know, equipment and methodology. So we just basically upgraded it uh, last year and the teaching process has never stopped throughout the pandemic. So right now everything is uh, carried out online. Uh, hopefully we can, of course, get back to classes as soon as possible when, since our speciality is this personal approach. So we prefer to see you in class and talk to you. Well, some good um, tips for you in terms of the language of instruction. Um, according to Slovenian uh, legislation, we have to carry out the bachelor's and master's courses in Slovenian. But since we have small groups, practically within the groups, we can, um, let's say, individually tailor things and first explain in Slovenian, then in English. And we have lots of um, non-Slovenian speaking students who have successfully graduated and learned Slovenian, you know, during their studies slowly. So or either just, you know, graduated in English. So that's not a problem. So you don't have to know Slovenian in advance. But, of course, it's an advantage for you. Well, we do have Slovenian courses which are free for you as elective subjects and, uh, well, no entrance examinations, um, except the proof of ability if you want to enroll to the School of Arts. So, any candidates interested in that, please um, contact the School of Arts ASAP to give you, you know, more information how to submit your portfolio and have an interview with the school and so on. Well, since we are a um, smaller university and smaller towns, we don't have so, uh, so much trouble with, you know, student accommodation. So there are dormitories in the adjacent towns and of course in Nova Gorica itself. You can also opt for a private accommodation and our student office can help you with that. So please just contact them, ask for more information. And here's two pictures from our own dorm in the very same building in Vipava in a very nice mansion. Um, so we are frequently um, joking that um, not so many students have the opportunity to study and also live in some kind of real castle, so to say. And uh, yeah, the students, in fact, enjoyed here. So here are the deadlines for um, application. Everything is our, on our website, so I will not go into details. There are differences from EU and non-EU candidates, but in general, I would just like to point out the first application call that starts on the 16th of February, right? So otherwise, check on our website. Well, um, similar dates uh, of application um, periods for uh, PhD and master studies here. Yeah, I would like to say that although we are small, we are proud that uh, we 
really get good results at international university rankings and we are very proud of the 20 uh, of the 200 first place on a global scale at the round university ranking the last year's result because yeah you can imagine to be uh, in such a place uh, on a global scale for such a small university in such a small country it's a success and I also like the following quote very much. It is actually a quote by the European University Association who came to our university and had an evaluation of us in 2015. And they concluded, we have found a small, young, active and enthusiastic university with happy and satisfied students. And this is what we would like to remain in the future as well. Welcome to our information days. On the 15th of February, we'll have an um, information day in English, while on the uh, 12th and 13th, we will have it in Slovenian. We have prepared some kind of um, small educational fair and more than 100 live events for you on different topics, not only presentations of study programs. So check out the website. You are very welcome. So here are uh, our contacts. So our students are waiting for you to join us. Feel free to write. And I'm passing on the word to Maria from the study in Slovenia because she's going to have uh, a conversation with the students studying in Slovenia. Thank you very much and goodbye from Nova Gorica. Uh, thank you, Veronica. Uh, and uh, I would like to welcome our students that have joined us uh, today. Um, and um, so with us, we have uh, Hannah, we have Ivan, and uh, we have Svetlana. So I'm really happy that I'm in a good uh, company. Um, okay, so uh, Hannah, perhaps we begin with you. Uh, since uh, you're coming from Ukraine and you're studying environmental sciences, uh, right? And uh, I would like to ask you uh, at the beginning, why did you choose Slovenia? And uh, if you had some problems getting to Slovenia in terms of like documents and, uh, and mm -hmm. the support you received. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm lucky to be here present like Ukrainian student in Slovenia, <laughs> also good or Slovenian student <laughs> from Ukraine, I don't know. Um, actually, I would like to say that uh, I was lucky to come to Slovenia. Uh, I had a uh, not normal situation, an unusual situation in my life that uh, at that time, my husband, he's also from Ukraine, he went to Austria to study as an exchange program. And I was just looking for some possibility to come to him closer. And I found this opportunity in Slovenia. And uh, we were really lucky because um, the location is uh, really close to each other, of course. And uh, the speciality was similar to what I was studying before. I was uh, a biochemist before I, I got my um, bachelor degree in chemistry. So here it's environmental science. And uh, I, I was really lucky to find this place. And uh, I would like to say that um, uh, enrollment was fast for me. Um, and uh, just uh, in the very beginning, I would advise, I would give advice to every plan to probably from Ukraine, from Russia as well, as I know we have this problem to prepare docu documents before to translate everything to make this apostille and uh, uh, because uh, it could, could take uh, maybe few, two, three months to prepare all documents. So this part should be done in, in advance. Okay, I would say, yeah. Okay, great. Um, Svetlana, you're coming from near here um, uh, and you're Slovene. Uh, yeah. But how, um, I would like to ask you, um, uh, how do you find the quality of studies? You're studying at the University of Ljubljana, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that there are uh, differences between the um, university in Italy and Slovenia. Uh, but I think that in Slovenia there are many pros. For example, in Italy there are, there are many exams that are very hard and you have like a very big exam and nothing else. But in um, Slovenia you have exams divided in many parts. 
so it's easier to focus on them and to like make it. And, and I think that Slovenia is smaller, so it's like friendly and uh, you can enjoy it. There is a lot of nature and nice people. You can know people from everywhere. So it's a, it's a good choice. And I personally like it because I, I like to, even though I live like one hour from Ljubljana, um, I, um, I still have a flat in uh, Ljubljana so I can have my um, experience. I can become more independent and like become more an adult if you want. <laughs> Great. And uh, in your free time, you have uh, plenty of things to do or uh, uh, are you bored? I know the situation right now is a little bit different as we know. Um, like in my free time, I also um, have time for friends and um, to do some sport or um, I, I'm studying journalism so I can uh, like uh, uh, write for the local journals in, in Italy, in my city, in Trieste. Um, and yeah, I think that when it's um, exam time, like uh, you need to focus on them, but then you have enough time if you are an organized person to enjoy other activities. Good, <laughs> thank you. Uh, even you're coming from uh, North Macedonia, and uh, you know, being a student, we always say that it brings so many good things and benefits. Uh, what do you appreciate most? Uh, you know, being a student in Slovenia. Well, as you said, in Slovenia, uh, you have uh, numerous benefits with your student ID card or with your student visa. Uh, I I am a member of the club of uh, Goriski Studento, that is in Slovenian, and we have numerous benefits like uh, student uh, food coupons that the professors from the universities are all already told you. And with that coupons, a student can have like up to 50 or uh, sometimes to 70% off uh, with some foods in restaurants. Also, you can work part-time to have some extra money for your extracurricular activities or for your free time and also with accommodation at least in my town uh, the students don't have a problem because we are a small town but I'm sure that uh, everywhere in Slovenia uh, it won't be a problem with accommodation and most importantly the most important benefit for studying in Slovenia you get a European diploma and your university degree will be recognized all over the Europe. This is why you chose Slovenia or was there another reason? Yeah, that's one of the reasons, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Hannah, what, how would you rate the monthly costs? Or, you know, is it expensive to be here or with the student support or work you can manage? Yeah, uh, in the first month, I think I was shocked. <laughs> Came after from Ukraine here and I didn't know the prices. And of course, the first month probably the, the most um, difficult just to, to start, I think. But uh, with salary, uh, I, I, I have a salary here. It covers everything. Um, also now, in the beginning, I was living in the dormitory and I think it's good uh, part uh, in the beginning to live in the dormitory, to start um, learn language and uh, speak with other students. But now I'm living in my um, rent apartment and uh, my salary covers everything apartment food and uh, also um, I like travel a lot and uh, as I've told my husband lives <laughs> not so far away so I need to travel also and um, it covers everything uh, and uh, I could um, save a little bit of money for my um, private life and uh, yeah yeah um, and did you, um, Hannah and Ivan, did you have any problems with the language? Uh, and no, actually, um, I would like to say that uh, Slovenia really um, open country. In the beginning, I had really not so high language of uh, English uh, um, because I came with, I think, intermediate uh, um, level or something like this. And uh, in few months, and also Veronica, who was uh, um, presenting our university, she helped me a lot and uh, also speaking with 
all people around. We have a lot of international students, it helped me. Um, but also Slovene language, I would like to say that uh, um, at least for me, because I'm from Ukraine and uh, I'm um, speaking Ukrainian and uh, um, Russian language, I speak two languages. And it's pretty uh, easy to learn Slovene uh, language because all Slavic languages are, are similar as we know. And uh, at least understanding um, some uh, basic stuff in the very beginning, you, you will understand something. Yeah. So it's quite easy to learn. Yeah. Uh, even for you? Uh, yes, uh, yes. I just want, I just uh, want to, uh, for the international students, uh, you have opportunity to study first year in English language, so it won't be a problem to learn Slo Slovene language throughout your studies. And for all, all our Slavic friends from a uh, West Slavic family, East Slavic family, South Slavic family, the Slovene language is a South Slav uh, language in the South Slav group. And you, you won't have problem, just like Hanna said, uh, we have so many same or similar words, so it won't be a problem to learn the language even in the first semester. Okay. Uh, Svetlana, would, what would you recommend uh, you know, the candidates that are listening to us? Is there anything special that you would suggest uh, that they pay attention or, you know, just... Well, I think that it's important to make everything in time, like documents and papers, because I had some troubles. So make it sure that you do it in summer or even before, so you are uh, relaxed and uh, you know that you have everything. And also find a flat, um, I'm, I'm talking for Ljubljana, find it already in summer and um, um, watch out that it's not too expensive and um, like uh, go to many different places and see different flats so you can choose the best one. And I think that in these Corona times also a good laptop is a nice advice. So make it sure that you have um, a new laptop that it's working well. That, that is important. Uh, Hannah, Ivan, would you like to uh, give some advice to everyone that's listening to us? Hannah? Yeah, okay, maybe I will start. Yeah, uh, um, it's really important again to prepare all documents in the very, very beginning. And to, I think, uh, to check accommodation also really important uh, before you, you're coming to find uh, some dormitory or something. And um, I think um, just in the very beginning to calculate the amount of money which you need to live, this is also important for students. And um, I don't know what to add um, else, just come and enjoy because here is a lot of place to watch, to, to visit. It's, it's really beautiful country and a lot of advantages, not just study, but also live here. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan, mm. what would your advice be to all the young just people? Just so we don't repeat each other, I would just say to be brave and make the first step and apply. Uh, you are already here, so I assume that you're interested in Slovenia. So I'm just saying to be brave and make the first step and apply in the, even in the uh, first term uh, now in February and in March. And we are happy to see you in October. And you believe that you all received enough support from the um, institutions you're in, from the universities? Yes, it was okay. Everyone happy with this? This is also important and, you know, like university representatives said, uh, tutors, there's an option for tutors and there's a lot of support and uh, help once uh, some candidates decide to come. Uh, so great. If there's anything that anyone would like to add. Yeah, just to, um, uh, to the last that you told about support, I would like to mention that I got a lot of support in the very beginning, even though, I don't know, some people took me on my hand and bring me to the bank to help me to make a bank account, to also get a dormitory. I got all links before to communicate with them. If I had some problem in Slovene language in the beginning, um, a lot of people helped me with this, really, and uh, I never had this feeling like I, I'm alone here. I, 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 knew, I, I knew that I could come and ask about the help and uh, I will get it, yeah. Yeah, excellent. 
Okay, well, I would like to thank you ev everyone uh, for patience and uh, for being with us. And uh, thank you to our wonderful audiences that have been with us for more than an hour. And I'm sure that uh, we will have some more conversations with the students as we uh, continue with our Facebook Live sessions. Ivan, Svetlana, Hanna, good luck to you all. And uh, really appreciate that you have been with us today. And good luck with finishing your studies. And, uh, you know, truly you are all the ambassadors of studying in Slovenia. Um, and uh, best wishes and truly thank you and have a wonderful day. Um, so at this point, I would like to thank everyone that has made this event possible. Um, and also Han, uh, Helena and everyone uh, from uh, Study in Europe. Uh, with these words, uh, we would like to, um, um, you know, welcome you all. Um, research more our website, find the right program and find the right institution. Uh, thank you to the university representatives um, and see you in Slovenia. Thank you.